my top three approach play mistakes made by everyday golfers and good players. We all get suckered into these ideas. So let's take this approach play shot for instance here. I've landed that between the two bunkers. I slightly mishit it, it came up short. I need to make sure I don't go in those bunkers. You definitely need to make sure you don't go in the bunkers because it really costs you shots. There's plenty of room past these bunkers and the green is fat there. I should be always taking into account trouble left and right, but I need to be taking into account short and long trouble as well on my approach shots. It's about getting the ball on the green, but it's more importantly about not hitting it in those troubles. Getting used to taking one more club, pushing a bit more to the back of the green, is only going to help you hopefully hit a few more greens and take that trouble out of play. Number two is taking dead aim. We all fall into this trap. When I look from here, that flag looks like it's accessible. I could hit that. It's kind of in the middle of the green, it feels like, but I don't have to hit this shot that far offline. And I'm missing that left side and I'm now short-sided because that pin is actually on the left side. Understanding where your pins are and not getting suckered into these smaller targets is only going to allow you to make more mistakes yet still get away from it. I mean, I've got away with that. I pushed it into the middle of the green and I've just ignored that pin on the left. I want to hit the green. I want to make par. I want to move on. Don't get suckered into pins. And the last point is understanding your carry distances. I want to know how far my approach play shots are going to go through the air and then I'm going to put in the variable of land, up slopes, down slopes. If it's into the wind, it might stop quick. If it's downwind, it's going to kick on. All these kind of ideas, wet lie, dry lie. I want to know how far my club goes through the air and then I'll apply that data then to the shot. Just knowing your total for each club doesn't allow you to understand very well how to make sure you push it to the pin high position of the screen or even more to the back taking those bunkers out of play. Because I can get that ball there in a different way. I could hit an eight iron which lands at the front and runs on. But as we can see, this green's really narrow. So I need to understand my carry distances. You do more as well too. So many golfers base it on their best shot. Base it not on your best shot, on your more repeatable one. The one you tie in a game day in, day out. And you're gonna find they're way shorter than lots of us think. Get those carry distance dialed in.